Fortnite has released 24 seasons and there have been some amazing items released in every single season. But what we are looking at in today's video is the best Fortnite combo from every season in Fortnite. Make sure you guys watch all the way through because we're going to be starting off with Chapter 1, Season 1 and working our way up towards Chapter 4, Season 2. And there are definitely going to be some surprises on this list. But we are starting off with the Renegade Raider and the Candy Axe. Now, usually the Raider's Revenge would work best with the Renegade Raider. But during Chapter 1, Season 1, the Candy Axe was actually one of the rarest pickaxe in the game and it was the pickaxe that a lot of pros and tryhards were using. This had such a clean design, it was a lot more detailed than any other pickaxe in the game up until this point, but obviously now that we have so many other amazing pickaxes in Fortnite, I feel like the candy axe has dropped off so, so much. Chapter 1 Season 1 was so much fun though, but a few months later we moved into Chapter 1 Season 2 and Fortnite introduced the very first battle pass to the game. This battle pass gave us items like the Black Knight and the ACDC pickaxe, which has to be the best combo from that season. It might not have been the most tryhard combo because we did also get the Mogul Masters added during Season 2, but I feel like from a popularity standpoint and a skin that everyone wants, it would have to be the Black Knight. It is just so iconic. It is one of the best Fortnite skins of all time, and I really wish I could go back to Chapter 1 Season 2 and buy this Battle Pass. Season 2 didn't last too long, and then we moved into Chapter 1 Season 3, which had the first ever Tier 100 skin, and this was the Reaper. The best combo at the time, though, was the Reaper, and we are pairing this with the Love Wings and the Trusty Number 2. This is a combo that basically every single pro and tryhard player was using. It was one of the cleanest combos we had ever seen up until this point. It was so popular for such a long time as well. And whenever you saw someone using this combo, you may as well have just left the game because they were going to be one of the sweatiest players you had ever seen. This is still at a point in Fortnite where no one really knew how to build. So whenever you came across someone using the Reaper skin, I remember that they were always the best mechanical players in the game at that point. But as we moved into Chapter 1 Season 4, this skin did start to drop off quite a bit and we saw the rise of the soccer skins and of course the icebreaker pickaxe as well. Now, the Icebreaker had been in the game since Chapter 1 Season 1, but it wasn't really until Chapter 1 Season 4 where it really started to become popular. They worked in really well with the Soccer skins. These are actually some of the first ever customizable skins that we had in Fortnite. We did also get Omega and Carbide in the Battle Pass, but I feel like having these Soccer skins with a bunch of different edit styles and also being able to customize the number on these skins is really what made them so popular. They did also become quite tryhard back during Chapter 1, and I still feel like we see these skins being used quite a bit today. As we move into Season 5 though, obviously the hype of a brand new Battle Pass led a lot of people to use the Sunstrider skin and we are pairing this with the Studded Axe. Now the Sunstrider isn't really a skin a lot of people remember. It was quite popular during Season 5 because this was part of the Battle Pass and it was unlocked quite early on so a lot of people were using it, but it basically stopped being popular once this season ended. The Studded Axe though has basically been the opposite. It has remained popular and tryhard basically since it was released and it would have to be one of the cleanest pickaxes in the game. Chapter 1 Season 5 was a lot of fun though, and then we moved into one of the most controversial seasons of all time, which was Chapter 1 Season 6. This season was so controversial because one of the Battle Pass skins, Calamity, actually had one of the weirdest glitches of all time. But this was actually the most popular skin at that point, and we're going to be pairing Calamity with the Guiding Glow. I actually really like the way this combo looks. Both of these items are going to work quite well together, and you could get both of them in the Battle Pass. Obviously, all of the issues with Calamity led a lot of people to use this skin. It does does have a bunch of different edit styles, but I feel like the only edit style that people usually talk about is the default style. This skin is actually really underrated today. Once they did fix this glitch, hardly anyone kept on using this skin, which really does suck. But moving into Chapter 1 Season 7, guys, we saw a brand new wave of players playing Fortnite and using a brand new wave of skins, and this entered our meme era. We saw skins like Fish Stick becoming popular, and we're going to be pairing this with the Vision Pickaxe. This is really when the pro Fortnite community really started to grow. We saw a bunch of sweaty players people finally figuring out how to build really, really well and use it to their advantage in all kinds of game modes. And this is really where we saw the start of tryhard skins in Fortnite. But surprisingly, a lot of people ended up using some of these meme skins as well instead of using the tryhard skins like everyone else. Benji Fishy is obviously the name that comes to mind. He was one of the best Fortnite players in the world, but he was using the fish stick skin, which was just so funny to see. That continued during Chapter 1 Season 8, where we saw skins like Peely. But this wasn't the best combo during that season because we had Aura with the Rainbow Clover and the Star Wand added to the game. Aura has been one of the most popular Fortnite skins they have ever added. For an 800 V-Bucks skin to still be popular in Fortnite today over three years later is just so insane to me. I think this is one of the best Fortnite skins they have ever added. And the fact that this is the best combo from Chapter 1 Season 8 almost up until today is just so, so crazy. The Rainbow Clover was also a really good backlink to use back in Chapter 
for one, but we don't really see too many backlings being used anymore. And as you guys know, the Star Wand is literally the most popular Fortnite pickaxe they have ever added. And it was very, very popular basically from Chapter 1 Season 8 up until today in Chapter 4 Season 2. During Chapter 1 Season 8 though, Fortnite was starting to implement some collab skins in the game as well. And we saw this during Chapter 1 Season 9 when we got the official John Wick skin added and we are pairing this with the trusty number 2. Now even the trusty number 2 had been in the game for a while when we finally got an official John Wick skin. A lot of people did end up pairing this OG pickaxe with it because it reminded them of the original Reaper skin that we had during Chapter 1 Season 3. I love the way this combo looks. I think it was so, so clean and it was actually quite popular among the pro community as well, which is really cool to see. We don't really see too many pros using male skins anymore, but this trend actually continued during Chapter 1 Season 10 or Season X, depending on how you say it, because the best combo was the Psycho Bandit with the Star 1. This has been one of the best male skins Fortnite has ever added. It is extremely rare as well and will probably never return to Fortnite, but this was a collab skin back during Season X, which was actually one of the coolest collabs we had had in the game up until that point. Not only did they add a skin to the game, but we also had a location transform to look like it was from Pandora, which is a location in the Borderlands games. That was so, so cool. I don't remember the last time we saw so many people excited for a collab in Fortnite, but after a few weeks of Season X, we moved into the biggest update Fortnite had released up until that point, which was Chapter 2. During Season 1, I feel like the Battle Pass skins weren't as strong as a lot of people were expecting, but we did get the Chaos Agent and the Harley Hitter added to the game this season. This is obviously when male skins were still extremely popular. The Chaos Agent was one of the best male skins of all time. A bunch of people were using this, and I feel like it has to be one of the best skins Fortnite has ever added. It was originally a Fortnite Mare skin as well, but after seeing how popular this skin actually was, Fortnite did decide to add this to the item shop all year round, so it actually does feature in the item shop quite often. The Harley Heater is one of the best pickaxes they have ever added. You can pick this up for 800 V-Bucks, but because it is a crossover item, we just don't see it in the store that often. This pickaxe did stay popular during Chapter 2 Season 2 though, but the best skin has to be Midas, and of course, we are going to be pairing this with the Harley Hitter. Midas was the T100 Battle Pass skin during this season. It was by far my favorite Fortnite season I think they have ever added, and I would basically give up anything to go back and play Chapter 2 Season 2. It was so much fun. The game felt really balanced. I felt like the tryhard players still went super, super sweaty, so regardless of if you got in a really tryhard lobby or a bot lobby, they sort of felt similar, and that was when Fortnite was really at its peak. Midas has stayed popular for such a long time as well, but it probably wasn't the best combo during Chapter 2 Season 3, and that is because we had the Surf Witch with the Star Wand during this season. As soon as the Surf Witch was added to the game, a bunch of pros immediately bought this skin and started using it in every single tournament they could. It is still known in Fortnite today as a tryhard skin, which basically means if you are a noob, you probably won't be using this skin. We see so many pros and streamers still using this skin today in tournaments as well, which just shows you guys how good this really is. I'm just sort of surprised we haven't had some more edit styles for this added. I think Chapter 2 Season 3 was a little underwhelming, especially after how good Chapter 2 Season 2 was, but then we moved into Chapter 2 Season 4, which was the Marvel season of Fortnite. This is by far one of my favorite seasons as well, and the best combo has to be Tony Stark with the Gold Crow. Now, the Gold Crow was added one season earlier during Chapter 2 Season 3, but we did see a bunch of people use using it with all of the Marvel skins in this battle pass. Jennifer Walters was by far one of the most tryhard skins during this season, but I feel like Tony Stark was a little bit more popular, especially if you did grind out this season to unlock all of the additional edit styles. We are also going to be including a secondary combo for this season because these superhero skins were added during Chapter 2 Season 4, and we are pairing them with the Star Wand. These basically became the most tryhard skins overnight. I remember when Fortnite first announced these skins and all of the customizable styles for them, everyone fell in love with these skins and they were so, so incredible. So the fact that they are still popular and try hard today just shows you guys how good these skins really are. We had had so many crossover items added to the game up until this point, and that didn't stop as Chapter 2 Season 5 introduced Chun-Li and the Leviathan Axe to the game. Now, a lot of people were really torn about Chapter 2 Season 5. People thought that they did end up adding too many crossover skins to the game, but personally, I thought it was really cool. We did get some skins like Mandalorian as well, which could have easily been the best skin that season. But honestly, I think Chun-Li with the Leviathan Leviathan Axe was just a little bit better. I love the way this combo looks together, but it has dropped off so much up until the point where we hardly see anyone using it today. These crossover skins have definitely been some of the best that Fortnite has ever added because during Chapter 2 Season 6, we got Lara Croft in the Battle Pass, and we are going to be pairing this with Catwoman's Grappling Claw, which again is another crossover item. Catwoman's Grappling Claw wasn't actually too popular during Chapter 2 Season 6. It has become 
a lot more popular since that season ended, but I still feel like it is worth pairing with the Lara Croft because these items just work so well together. The default style of Lara Croft would still have to be one of the most popular skins in Fortnite today. It is still extremely tryhard as well, so if you guys do own this skin and you want to stand out, I would recommend using some of the other styles for Lara Croft. After a few weeks in Season 6 though, we moved into Chapter 2 Season 7, and this introduced Beach Jewels to the game, and we're going to be pairing this with the Star 1. We didn't really get too many amazing pickaxes added during this season. A lot of people were still using the Star 1 because it was the most tryhard pickaxe in the game up until this point. The Star 1 also matched the Beach Jewel skin perfectly. Obviously, since then, they have altered the Beach Jewel skin slightly, so we hardly see anyone using it today, but I still feel like during Chapter 2 Season 7, this had to be the best combo. A lot of people were changing around their skins quite a bit during this season though, but that stopped when Chapter 2 Season 8 was introduced because we got Charlotte and the Demon Slayer Blade added in the Battle Pass. This is actually unlocked very early on, which was so, so sick to see. Basically, everyone on launch day was using Charlotte, which is always really cool. I feel like Tier 1 skins in the Battle Pass are often some of the most important ones as well. You never want to have a bad Tier 1 skin because I feel like no one is going to buy the Battle Pass if there is a bad Tier 1 skin. So the fact that Fortnite introduced Charlotte as Tier 1 was definitely a good choice. Obviously, the Demon Slayer Blade is the pickaxe that is designed for this skin as well, so those items are just going to work in really well together. We moved into Chapter 3 Season 1 after a few weeks of speculation though, and the best combo this season has to be Spider-Man with LeBeau's bow. Fortnite again was pushing out a bunch of different collabs, and Spider-Man had been one of the most hyped collabs of all time. We had been waiting for this collab since Fortnite introduced their first Marvel skins back during Chapter 1, and now that it was finally here, it did not disappoint. Not only did we get one Spider-Man skin in the Battle Pass, but we also got the official No Way Home Spider-Man style added to the store, and this was the more popular style in my opinion. It's obviously going to work with LeBeau's bow perfectly because this again is another Marvel item. The collabs only continued during Chapter 3 Season 2, but surprisingly the best combo that was added this season would have to be Omega Knight, and we are pairing this with the Spellwork Scimitar. Omega Knight had been leaked in the files for a really long time, but we just thought this was never actually going to be added. For Fortnite then added this towards the end of Season 2 as a level up quest skin, and it did only set you back around 1,200 V-Bucks, which is really good for a skin this well designed. If you guys did grind out some challenges for this skin as well, you could unlock a fully golden edit style, which does look really, really sick. I'm definitely happy that I decided to buy this bundle, because it is never going to return to the game. During Chapter 3, Season 3 though, the best combo was one of my most loved combos I think on this list, and this is Darth Vader, and we are pairing this with the King's Oath. Obviously, Fortnite decided not to add a lightsaber pickaxe in the battle pass, which I think is one of their strangest decisions. I would have loved to see some lightsaber pickaxes in Fortnite. I think there are so many customizable styles for these, and they could have made it honestly the best pickaxe of all time, but instead we ended up getting the Sigil of the Empire. The King's Oath actually matches this skin really well though. I think they do work quite well together, but obviously nothing is going to match it as well as a lightsaber would have. Darth Vader didn't stay popular for too long though, because as we moved into Chapter 3 Season 4, we got Spider-Gwen in the Battle Pass, and then the Scully Scepter was also added during this season, which instantly became a popular pickaxe. It is so well designed, it is a skull version of the Star Wand, and obviously you guys know how popular the Star Wand has been, so by adding a secondary style of this, it just became so, so popular. It is also cheaper, coming in at only 500 V-Bucks, it's going to fit in really well with every single style of Spider-Gwen as well, which I think is my favourite part about it. Spider-Gwen didn't stay popular in Fortnite for too long though, because only a few weeks weeks later, we moved into Chapter 4 Season 1. We got so many amazing skins in this battle pass, but I feel like the best combo has to be the Ageless with the Vault Guardian. Now, if you are a tryhard player, this might end up being something like Selene or even Helsey, but honestly, I think the Ageless is one of the cleanest skins. It had been in the storyline for such a long time. It had been rumored coming to Fortnite for a really long time as well, but now that it was finally here, it definitely did not disappoint. It definitely has one of the cleanest built-in emotes we have ever seen. All of the edit styles for this skin as well look really, really incredible, and I'm so glad I grinded out Chapter 4 Season 1 to unlock the edit styles for this skin. Unfortunately, though, it didn't stay popular for too long because we then moved into Chapter 4 Season 2, and the best combo added so far would have to be Renzo 
the Destroyer, and Leon's Combat 9. Now, obviously, this season is only a few weeks old, so we are definitely going to be getting some other skins added over the next few days that I'm sure might be even better than Renzo the Destroyer. But Renzo the Destroyer is a tier 1 skin. It is one of the coolest tier 1 skins on this list and definitely one of my favorite skins as well. It is one of the more detailed skins, so I don't think too many pros or streamers are going to be using this. But if you are a casual Fortnite player like me, this is a combo you guys are going to absolutely love. But there you guys go. That is my list for the best Fortnite combo of each season. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below what season was your favorite. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.